All right, let's talk a little bit about color modes and we're gonna do some uh, desaturation and some um, create some duotone effects. So um, I go under image and I go to mode. And so if I, uh, anytime I import an image into Photoshop, one of the first things I check is to see what color mode the image is in. Also up at the top here, it will tell you what color mode it's in. Image mode, this image is in RGB color. So that would be the correct color mode if I were working for web, on screen, or video. Now, if this was going to be a print document, uh, I would work in RGB color mode and then I would convert it to CMYK and it'd be the very last step that I would make. Um, and so in a future exercise, I will go through exporting documents to print and exporting documents to web. But right now I'm checking to see what color mode it's in. I wanna work in RGB color. If you work in RGB color, all the utilities in Photoshop will be available to you. And then if I'm going to make a photo print, uh, I'll leave it in an RGB color. If I'm making a professional print, like a rack card, business card brochure, I'll convert to the CMYK color mode, okay? Now, let's go down and let's convert this to grayscale. So that's gonna take the image, turn it into a black and white image. And now I've created a grayscale image. And then I can go to image and go to mode. And I have another option here called duotone that was not available before. So when I create a duotone, it comes up, it says monotone. I only have one ink. I wanna go in there and I wanna convert this to a duotone. Now I have two inks. I leave the first ink at black and then I can pick a second ink and create a duotone effect. Okay. I can choose any color I want to create that kind of a duotone effect. Now, there's another way to do this. Let's undo what we've done here, edit step backwards. I think you've already, I've already shown this, but if I go to image adjustments and go down to U saturation, I can create the same kind of effect, the dual tone effect here. Or if I go to image adjustments and go down to black and white and click the tint button, I can create a dual tone effect here. So I can create a dual tone effect um, in my document from a lot of different places. All right. All right. Let's stop there.